Welcome to Property Care. Today we are going to discuss about uh, uh, the recent guideline value increased in Bangalore. So for that, uh, I have been giving an update to my investors who are in abroad and uh, they are uh, they want to know about the new value which is uh, in Bangalore uh, come into effect from 1st October. So that idea, I'm just sharing it. What is the increase in the government guideline value? and which are all the top locations in Bangalore for an investment. So I identified a few locations. I'm going to share that with uh, my customers and viewers. So this is the topic uh, we are going to discuss. So government value, government guideline value. So okay, what is this government guideline value, government uh, guidance value, sub register value, these are all terms are same. So any property, you know, government uh, will fix up the rate. For this particular location, this is the price government value. And this is the minimum value we should show to the sub register when we go and pay the stamp duty to the Karnataka government. So that is the price set by the government. So that is the recently, uh, you know, it is got increased in Bangalore. So that is the topic uh, we are going to discuss today and which are all the good investment locations in Bangalore. So the target audience are uh, property investors, home buyers, tenants. So they and NRIs who are in abroad, uh, my customers. So and uh, other uh, you know prospects who will be you know trying to invest in Bangalore. So this is going to help them to understand the idea behind the government guideline value and the top destinations, investment destinations in Bangalore. So the property, uh, you know, buying become more harder by, you know, these recent revisions by the Karnataka government in property price in Bangalore and slowly they are going to expand in the other locations also. So this come into effect from 1st October. And this is an alert. I'm just uh, updating, uh, you know, that there are property prices are going up with respect to the registration. Market price remains the same. There is no change. But when you go for a registration, the government stamp duty, Karnataka government stamp duty, you need to pay more. So that how does that, uh, you know, it is get affected? Because suppose if you are buying a, a, some 30, 40 site, 1,200 square feet. So before October 1st, the guidance value assumed that is somewhere around 3,500. So you will be paying 3,500 government guideline value into 1,200 square feet. On that, 6.6% is the stamp duty. So this we have to pay to the government uh, for when we do the registration. So that 3,500 earlier rate got revised from October 1st. What is that uh, price revisions? Or what are the highlights? I'm just giving an idea. So this is, uh, for example, if an apartment uh, price, you know, uh, some 7,000. So on that is a market price. For that apartment price, after October 1st, the price revised from government value from uh, 3,500 to 4,200. But market value is 7,000. So that uh, revision from government fixing a price for that particular apartment complex is changed. So that is the change because of that, your registration cost will go up. The last increase by Karnataka government, it was on 2019. And due to COVID after that, until uh, September 30th, the revision was not done. So after October 1st, the Karnataka government revised the government guideline value to a new price. In the last four and a half years, uh, around five years, there is no revision. So government now considering that revision. So this applies to all type of property categories and residential, commercial, industrial, agriculture, property, registrations, all the uh, across the property types, this got increased and uh, it depends on location to location. So I given another idea about the location uh, uh, price also. We'll see in the next slide. This is the recent real estate boom, and uh, the government also, you know, want to leverage that uh, boom and try to increase 
the uh, government guideline value so that the revenue of the Karnataka government will significantly increase. So that is the idea behind the government increasing the price. So the main area uh, of increasing the more guideline value is outskirts. So the Bangalore outskirts, uh, you know, hit hardest. Uh, properties or uh, areas are under VMRDA. So there are certain outskirts areas comes under VMRDA. This is a regulate. Uh, this is a planning authority who helps to approve certain uh, projects in that outskirts areas of Bangalore. Similarly, VIAAPA, Bangalore International Airport Area Planning Authority. So this is uh, another uh, planning authority who helps uh, you know uh, managing the properties or land near to the airport area. For example, in North uh, Bangalore, near Devanali, if any projects, this is the authority who approves the project. So this is uh, these areas are are uh, hit hard by the government guideline value uh, increase. So how much percentage for a flat increased? So the flat 10 to 15 percent. It depends on a project to project. It will vary. Some uh, high end uh, projects little more and some basic amenities apartments lesser. So this is the range. Uh, 10 to 15 percent increase in the government guideline value in Bangalore city. And villas also uh, guideline value increased and it is from 10 to 20 percent. And plots 5 to 20 percent, mainly for uh, empty, empty plots in a residential layout or even independent plot. So the range is 5 to 20 percent plot government value increased. And agriculture land, this also significantly more contribution on the outskirt of the Bangalore, which is gone up up to thirty percent. So guideline value is remains the same for a female, male, joint owner. There is no rebate or any discount if it is a female registered registration who who is taking the. Uh, transferring the ownership, there is no such a, a price reduction or stamp duty reduction for a female buyers. This is the central business district. I just identified a few places. Central business district, uh, highest guideline value per square feet. Where and all uh, in uh, central business district, you know, uh, the guide, government guideline value got increased more. The first is the Cunningham Road, more than 29K and commercial street next to that. Then Sadasiv Nagar, which is on the West Bangalore side, and MG Road, Central Business District, and Lavali Road, Jainagar, Brigade Road, Residency Road, and Indra Nagar, there is a range. So this is the new government guideline value per square feet. Uh, when we go for registration, they'll consider it. So. So this is just for and giving an idea like uh, what is the increase on the commercial properties in the central business district. So, so uh, on top of that, outskirts slightly lesser than this. This is the highest uh, government guideline value. So I'm just uh, sharing the idea. So which are all the top uh, high return destinations in Bangalore? So I identified a few locations. So I want to share that with you. So they are, these are all the uh, good investment locations in Bangalore. So the first one is the Bangalore Whitefield, which is in which is a part of East Bangalore, which is giving a high return on investment. Of course, property price now also gone up higher. So it is not a cheap and investing here also. But uh, good potential on appreciation, high return rental properties here are uh, giving high returns. The next one is the Belandur, Outer Ring Road, Martha Lee, KR Puram Stretch, where, uh, you know, a lot of uh, corporate companies are here so that uh, commutation is close by. So because of that reason, a majority of the tenants are looking in this area properties and uh, more commercial properties also here. The corporate companies like Intel, Accenture, uh, leading corporates, Wells Fargo, so leading corporate Samsung, 
in this area. So, so good uh, potential both uh, commercial and residential uh, properties. Next is the Sarjapur Road, where the big corporates like Vipro and um, you know a lot of uh, there is a tech park there also and commercial space, a lot of commercial uh, shops, residential apartments. So good potential for an investors and uh, appreciation and good rental income also possible in this location. Thebal, Elehanka, Tanishandra, Ennu Road. This is part of the North Bangalore. So this also uh, good uh, high return uh, potential areas so that investors can look in these areas also and invest and a good branded projects and uh, commercial uh, branded ones will go good investment and residential like a good uh, brigade, you know, Concord. So Salapuria, Purva, these kind of projects are really good and, a, and good appreciation potential for those properties. Devnali Airport area is the now very hot market and a lot of people are moving there and a lot of developments happening. So going forward, that airport road stretch uh, will give a good uh, significant uh, improvement. Companies are uh, coming closer to the airport. So this also good investment destination. If anybody interested, these locations also good. If you need any help on investing in these areas, please uh, feel free to contact us and we do property management, mainly for traveling guys who are not here and uh, their properties are here in South Bangalore. So we are taking care of their property till they come back. So if they go for a five years on-site project and uh, we will help them to take care of that property five years here. So mainly we look for properties like flat, villa, vacant site management in case if they need any help on a plot also, we do it. So this is, uh, this is an investment. I have some tie up with the developers and they are approaching me to sell their plots. I can help on that area also. Then HSR, all the sectors. This is more on the South Bangalore side. This also good investment destination. Uh, of course, the price here also very higher, but a good potential on properties, appreciation and uh, good developed. Uh, it's almost developed, not a developing area. So good commercial area also. So a lot of demand here also for residential unit because the corporates are close by the outer ring road. So this location is a central. Uh, so that's why the demand is higher. And also road stretch, electronic city, now the new metro going on. So I hope this year end or early next year, they will operate the metro train on this road, my uh, Hosur main road till the Atipelli to Banshankari. So this stretch, uh, you know, is going to increase a lot in uh, in another uh, one year time. So there is a there is a good opportunity for investors to invest and get the appreciation. In Banarkata Road Metro stretch, there also there is some metro work going on. So another one year max that also will operate, and uh, that area also going to increase. Then Pansankari Metro stretch from BTM to Banshankari. And uh, there also there is some good amount of commercial activity going on and uh, good potential for rental also, even uh, flats, uh, residential units also. Kanakpura Road is also another developing area. The lot of uh, uh, the colleges and schools are there and good potential. Corporates not yet come, but uh, other than that slowly, increasing if some corporates coming there also then uh, it is a good uh, investment option otherwise compared to the east kanakpura road is uh, slightly lower on the appreciation potential but a lot of farmland uh, managed farmland projects are coming so that also not a bad investment location so this is uh, what we do property management uh, for uh, NRIs, uh, OCIs, or remote owners who have properties in South Bangalore, we are managing their property. So this is self-explanatory, easily you can understand. And this book I am writing mainly for remote owners who want to invest in uh, in India. 
what are all things they need to take care. So that is the idea I'm giving in this book. So thank you for watching. I hope uh, this will help you to give an idea about uh, government guideline value, recent revision, and uh, the top investment destinations in Bangalore. I hope uh, this will help you. If you like it, please give thumbs up and subscribe and uh, and click the bell icon and share with your friends and relatives so that they also can understand and get some value-added information from this. Thank you, brother.